Hi, I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week is, when should succulents be divided? As more people become interested in growing succulents in our hot, dry summers, they begin to notice an interesting thing about the growth habit of many desert species. They form plantlets in abundance. Some of these plantlets fall off rather easily and can simply start to grow where they land, and other species grow new plantlets from their roots, which must be cut off and divided from the mother plant. But this is an easy process and can actually be done anytime. If your succulent is in flower, you should wait for flowering to finish. But otherwise, divide the plant whenever you get ready. Simply remove the plant from its container or dig it up from the soil and expose the roots and underground stem portions. When you brush away the soil, you'll notice obvious areas where the plant is jetting off. Just cut between those areas, separating out as many plants as you like. Then return a portion of it back to the planting hole and refill the space with soil. Many succulent species need a curing time for the cut wound surface to heal so that it doesn't rot when placed back in the soil. About a day is usually plenty for most species. Our plant this week is yucca rostrata, big bend yucca. This beautiful yucca is one of the tree form species and the long, lovely bluish leaves are truly stunning. This plant is not for everyone and most gardeners either love it or think it looks like something out of a Dr. Seuss storybook. This tree will reach ultimate height of eight to 10 feet in about a decade, making it fairly fast growing. Unlike some desert species, Yucca rostrata is extremely winter hardy, listed to zone five or negative 15 degrees. Plant in full sun and very well-drained soil. And in fact, if you have heavy clay soil, this desert species should be avoided as it has zero tolerance for wet feet. But if you have areas that can convert to rock gardens and increase drainage with decomposed granite or other small aggregate rocky substrate, this plant will be very happy with very minimal care. Water very little during establishment, then not at all once established. When it flowers in midsummer, a small bloom stalk will begin to emerge from the center of the tree and will very quickly grow several feet, opening to a towering inflorescence of gorgeous white, pale yellow, bell-shaped flowers. Unlike many desert species, Big Bend Yucca isn't terribly pointy, but the thin, linear leaves are very fibrous and thick and give a mean cut if not handled properly. Older foliage will die back, creating a skirt of dead leaves around the trunk, just below the living foliage. Some people want to remove that foliage, but resist the urge. It's a lot of work, and the plant actually looks more attractive and natural with it there. Yucca rostrata is evergreen and will provide structural interest in the garden all year long. It looks most striking when planted in a grouping of several with very little else around at eye level. Consider planting some lower growing desert species in the same bed, but leave the space at eye level free. Our viewer picture goes to Tanya Joseph, here with daughter Maya in front of their native Texas persimmon trees. Since her husband discovered the delicious fruits on the trees on their property, there have been a lot of jelly making going on. You know the trees, the fruits or native persimmon are ready to eat or preserve when they turn a deep purple. In spring, the bees simply love the white flowers on the female trees. The big reward for birds and us like Maya is when those fruits deliciously ripen in late summer. We'd love to hear from you, so visit us at klru.org/ctg to send us your pictures, projects, and questions from your garden. Mm -hmm.